Good morning or good evening or good afternoon. It depends from the part of the world in uh, which uh, you look me. Well, so first of all, uh, so I'm very sorry for my not correct uh, English. I'm Italian. I'm uh, my name is Vito Liuzzi, and uh, I'm uh, a professor at the University of Music Giovanni Paisiello in Taranto, Italy, South Italy, and um, how can I say I'm also a doctor of law, my, I'm not a lawyer, but I am a um, professional journalist. Naturally, my job is uh, to make, uh, to play the double bass, okay? Well, why this uh, brief uh, and uh, humble tutorial? Just because uh, a lot of you have asked me to explain a special bow, a special grip of bow, okay? What I call the Italian bow or uh, the l'arco all'italiana, l'arco italiano. You know that uh, principally we have uh, two types of uh, taking, keeping the bow, okay? The French one, similar to this, this one, this one, this one, well, it depends, this one, okay? It depends from the different school. But then we have uh, probably the most important bow, that is the German bow, like, just like this. Uh, that I consider the most developed in all the world. I don't know why, but uh, this is uh, it's very useful, it's very important. But we have also a first, a third, excuse me, kind of, um, of bow, the Italian bow. The Italian bow isn't better than the French bow, Rabat bow, or uh, German bow. No, I don't think that there is uh, a better or worse uh, way to, to, to take a bow. It's not important because if you start, you can do well with also, <laughs> with also, also with the stick, okay? But uh, this is, this, um, uh, um, what can I say, this, um, uh, film uh, is only to knowledge the Italian bow that we use, uh, that I use personally, I teach, uh, and that we use in Italy from a lot of time. We don't know exactly who invented it, okay, but uh, prob probably, say, probably, but uh, it's sure that the great uh, and international soloist and pedagogue, Maestro Francesco Petracchi, the Italian Maestro Francesco Petracchi, uh, used this, um, this bow and also, naturally, all his uh, pupils, uh, very important pupils like uh, uh, Alberto, Maestro Alberto Boccini, the great Alberto Boccini, Pino e Torre, Stefano Sciascia used Bottesini bow and then all the other great, okay? Uh, now, in this moment, I'm very emotional. Um, well, uh, let's begin with this uh, bow. Please, Rino, it's my friend who helped me. Can you come here to uh, see this part? No, go, go, don't worry. Alzati, vieni qui. It's very important. Okay. Well, this is... <laughs> oh, there's a lot. I don't study from a lot of time. Okay. This is my bow. A curiosity. This bow, uh, is, it seems a normal bow, but um, it's uh, a, a very important gift uh, that Maestro Giovanni Lucchi, Italian Maestro Giovanni Lucchi, uh, it give me as, as a gift because um, 
he would he wanted that uh, me to test it okay why because this is uh, a carbon fire and the Pernambuco bow together okay this part is, is uh, Pernambuco the stick and the other part and inside there's a part of carbon fire so this is only a curiosity and I use uh, in my concert my rest because uh, also for uh, probably there are a lot of better uh, bows but uh, how can I say I I appreci appreciate it, appreciate it, uh, this gift uh, and I remember Giovanni Luc um, with uh, great uh, art, 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 art and sensibility. Come here please, uh, Rino, vieni qui. Allora, let's go. Look, put your hand in this way, okay? Then put the the bow in this way. Look well to the distance of the finger, of all the finger from the, um, the stick. All the finger, if you note, touch the stick. Okay? And this is very important in Italian bow. All the finger have to touch. Why this? Because when we will turn all fingers touch the stick and we will do we will give pressure if we would like on the stick we will get we will give pressure to um, 12 more sound or less pressure or without pressure if we would like to have a different sound okay dynamics now this is the base. What is the Italian bow? The main difference. The main difference from the other bow is this. The, the big, the first finger. Okay, look very well. This is important. Now, in this position, you have to collocate your first finger in the eye part of the U. This is the U. This is the U of the frog. Of the frog. And well, in this way, you have to put the first finger here in the eye part. It's clear. Uh, yes. Is it's good? Huh? Okay. In the frame, in French bow, usually in Bottesini, the main position was this. Or like Bozis, or in the Baroque music, more um, far. But uh, in Italian position, it's very important to put the first finger in the eye part of the U. Okay? Then it's simple. You press, okay, look. If I do this, look. Now I'm pressing the bow, stop. But if I don't use uh, pressure, the bow goes on. So this keeping this grip is very has a great stability. And uh, now, now it's clear. Okay. And now with this stability, I will take my double bass. And I, I will play only open strings, don't worry, I don't play Tarantella or other thing. I'm too fat in this video. But please Rino, puoi andare indietro. I take my very great double bass. No, it's a, a Donato Rubin, it's a, a normal bass. <coughs> look, Italian, look. The distance, the little finger, it's at the end of the frog. The other ends touch the stick, and the first, the sorry, the second finger is on the stick in this way. So, naturally, 
there are some fi there are some difference uh, from uh, uh, a musician, a double bass player, and another. Uh, it's more this or this, <laughs> but I use uh, the perpendicular position. Why this? In this way, please, you know, uh, Apri. In this way, I, if I don't give pressure on the string, I can have a pianissimo. Pianissimo. Without pressure. If I begin to give to colophonium more pressure, naturally the sound will be powerful. If I give it more pressure, the sound and so great virtuoso <laughs> on the open string. So it's important because uh, you can decide uh, to do what you, you want. Oh. With the, the Italian bow, it's sure, you can do all violin um, bowings. Okay, balzato, saltellato, staccato, staccatissimo, and so on. Uh, and this is, the important thing is uh, that uh, you don't need uh, rubber here, no? like uh, the great uh, Thierry Barbet, my friend. Because uh, there's a stability in this way. If you give more pressure of the, on the stick, you can do... Sorry, it's a bad sound. You can do... And so on. If you want a sensible sound, pianissimo, you play. Please use all the airs because if you use all the airs, the harmonics that the string produces are, can I say, are, um, are larger and so the sound travels better. Okay, in this way, and not in this way. Okay, if I if I'm playing a, a, a pianissimo or a particular effect, I can use I can use this and play with the few airs. But if you play as a soloist in Kusevisky, in orchestra, Beethoven, and so on, use all the strings. an example okay and then we stop because <laughs> I'm tired I'm not a uh, nectar or a, or, or a good double bass play you can do everything teacher, professor of conservatory who use uh, German bow. But, uh, ah, another thing, sorry. Um, with the Italian bow, you can play very near and relax, as Gary Carl says, very near to the bridge. There's great stability here with this position. Okay, 
I have finished this uh, little uh, tutorial. Normally, it's uh, <laughs> I'm sorry for mistakes, <laughs> um, but I would like to to say ciao, hi, to Maestro, my great friend, uh, Mr. Gary Carr. Ciao, Gary. Thank you for your help for my website, and also the genius, not as Gary Mallet, the genius. Then the Bottesini of uh, the double bass, uh, my other great friend uh, Thomas Martin. Then the Paganini of the double bass, uh, Catalin Rotaru. Then, uh, then Steve, uh, then Stefano Shasha, then uh, Michael Wolf, uh, then Mark Morton, then my great friend Leon Bosch, uh, then uh, another my great friend uh, Thierry Barbet. And then uh, and, uh, there are a lot. Okay, why this? Because they have an interview uh, on my website. And uh, last but not least, some of my friends um, on Facebook: uh, Maurizio Turiziani, Michele Veronese, Sauro Piana. Uh, there are a lot, a lot. Uh, it's incredible. Fulvio Mannoia. Uh, I will uh, take a list the next time. Okay, if you like, this is a, a test uh, tutorial. Okay, uh, I will add on my site into my site, the website, and uh, on YouTube. Uh, naturally, if you like this uh, idea, this media to make tutorial, then, for example, I will can. Um, explain you how to use this part of the bow no of the sorry of the arm how to make a different passage how to use the left hand and so on okay uh, it depends of you naturally i will study the tutorial and uh, i probably i don't i won't make any mistakes so thanks for uh, your friendships and um, the double bass, jazz double bass and classical double bass, but the double bass is uh, really the instrument of the future. I'm sure of this. Bye.